So we are very happy to be joined today by uh, Carsten Vogt, who is a longtime supporter of Aspen Germany. Perhaps you can start us off by telling us a little bit about what your connection is to us as an organization. I have been invited by Shepard Stone in the early 80s to participate in, uh, in meetings. These were at that time about detente and East-West relations, and then U.S.-European relations. And later on, in a certain way, when the crisis started with the end of the Cold War, one had to redefine the role of Aspen. I became a member of the Curatorium very early on. And if you had to describe the values, the mission of Aspen in your own words, how would you describe that? I am a traditional foreign policy guy. And in foreign policy, you always have interests and values. And very often they are fighting one another. They are not in accordance with one another. And Aspen is one place where you can discuss this and where you can discuss these contradictions, these tensions, which are there between press people who have a different role and politicians like me, people in the executive branch of the government, which have, again, a different view. So at Aspen, you had them all. And very known people like uh, Rix Löwenthal, who was very known in Germany, and uh, you had people like Albright in other Aspen meetings. At that time, she was not foreign minister. Or, or, but uh, you had them all and could meet, uh, discuss with them eye to eye. And this is always, when you have very complicated situations, much better than only to write stories and not to m look into the eyes of the other so you can see whether he is honest or whether he is not honest. And this was very often when we had guests from Eastern Europe a question and not always quite easy to decide. Um, there are obviously lots of other transatlantic organizations that um, try to contribute to building a stronger transatlantic relationship. Um, you mentioned some, some, some points there around Aspen's mission. What sets Aspen apart from those other organizations? It has, it's, it's different from other organizations because it's part of an international network uh, which is led by Americans. And uh, for many years, the directors were Americans. So it was an American voice in a certain way in the German and the European environment. And Berlin was a hotspot, complicated point. At, in those years, we had a lot of different views. And uh, you needed to talk with one another and not only to write letters and booklets to one another. And this uh, discussions, also in the evening, these discussions off the record and very personal and very honest were very important in all, way, all those critical years. But after 89, 90, the role of Aspen changed because the international situation changed. Then you had quite a while, for quite a while, contradicting tendencies inside the Aspen Institute, which want to redefine the Institute in view of the new situation. This took some years, it's led to some critical points, but finally Aspen now is again in a situation in which it is at the core of the Berlin debate in, on foreign policy issues, and again with both aspects, interests and values. We obviously have the chance to reflect on the history, but also look towards the future, especially in this year, which is our 50th anniversary of, of being founded here in Berlin. Um, what would you hope for the future of the Aspen Institute moving beyond our 50th year? We are in a very critical situation. We are now in a situation where there is a turning point as important as the year in which the war was coming down. And it will change Germany, it will change Europe, and I think it will change also the world. And in this role, the US is redefining its role. And Germany is redefining its role. And acting in spheres, even in the military field, where I never thought we would act. And we have to redefine our role, our political culture. And for the first time, I'm not so sure whether the United States is redefining its role in the international field in the correct way. Therefore, it's not only a question mark in direction of Germany, 
and other European countries, also question mark in direction uh, of the United States. And we only hope that the Aspen Network and Aspen Berlin especially, and Aspen Germany especially, will contribute to a correct interpretation of the, what we need to do for the next years and decades. You've left us with some big questions for the future, and we're so happy and honored to that you have been such a strong supporter of Aspen so far, and we look forward, obviously, to continuing that partnership moving forward. Thank, Thank you so much for being here today. You.